Hey. It's Thursday night. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi. Is anybody out there? Oh, I got a mute. There we go. I didn't mute. Oh, at least you have a sexy uh, commercial starting your show off. <gasps> yeah, Brian Reynolds. Sorry. <laughs> oh, cool. I like him. Deadpool. Brian Reynolds. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the night auction. It's time to party. Let's do it. We are having a live sale. <gasps> Moon Goddess is in the house. Hello, Crystal. Moon Goddess. Hey, Crystal. Hello. Hey, Crystal. Hello. How are you doing, Miss Crystal? It's rainy, it's miserable, it's yucky outside, but you know something? I'm in here nice and warm and I'm happy and we're gonna sell stuff. <laughs> oh, it's sunny and hot as a bitch here. Is it? I guess I can't complain because we're always sunny and hot and we'll have fun stuff, but today it's... Yeah, you're usually smothering hot though. And <laughs> <laughs> your hot is not the same as our hot. <laughs> It gets to the point you can't breathe. It's like, uh, that's why I dread the summer. Summer, I don't even go out. Summer, no. it's like I stay indoors all day. And if I do go out, I have to wear one of those big rim hats. And like, I mean, you fly over <laughs> Dallas and all you see is swimming pools. <laughs> exactly. Hi, Cindy. How are you, honey? Welcome to our auction sale. Hello, Cindy. We're going to have a fun night of stuff, stuff, and more stuff. I've got some stuffy stuff. <laughs> I am doing fabulous. Mel is in some pain, but she's still making it here. Let's pray oh, for her. Thank you. I appreciate she it. She has serious issues with her back. Shoulder, my back, my ribs. Back. My ribs keep popping out. I got to pop them back in. I mean, like emergency <laughs> room stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, so if, T. I, if I seem a little out of it, yes, I'm heavily medicated. I didn't say that. <laughs> Hello, T. Welcome to the show. You never know which ones are heavily medicated or not on these auctions. <laughs> I'm smiling. I'm happy. But it's 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 valid prescription. I, I don't think the happy, happy stuff. Although I'd like to take the happy, happy stuff, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> But you but trust me, they'll they'll put you on some really hardcore stuff before they get to the operating room. Oh yeah, they do. They do. That's why I was I was missing an acting yesterday because I was I was yeah in the doctor for like five hours. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> good place this to be, is, right? Yeah, that's that's a good place to hang out when you have back issues. I'm just popping in. Yes, this is an auction. We literally just started a minute ago, so we're just doing general. Happy, happy hellos before we get started, Cindy. Angie will probably say, Mel, you're up. Start soon. <laughs> Thank you, Moon Goddess. I appreciate it. But I'm up for it. I say let's do this. It's sale, sale time, isn't it? Yeah, she needs prayer. She really does. And I, I think that <laughs> that'll help her a lot. I, I hey, G, I stuff. guess... Um, wait a minute. Let me let my 62-year-old my brain kick in here. I guess Kim made it to Florida. Okay. Yes. Yes. We do both buy it now and starting bid. Yeah. We do a little bit of all of it, actually. A little bit of everything. I've got some toys. Hey, Barbie. I've got some collectibles. I've got some figurines. I've got some, I don't know, clothing and stuff. That's some interesting. I've got a little bit of everything. You we go. Some you had some jewelry stuff too that you make jewelry with that one day. Yes. Um, I think I have one more uh, set left, but I'll see you. Hello, there. Julie. Okay. All right. Tell Kim, I said, hello. Kim is here. Hello, Kim. I saw her peeing in the bathroom on her trip. <laughs> she took us in the bathroom. One of those quick trip places. <laughs> She had to drain one to the tank and fill the other. <laughs> We're going to go to the other side. We're going to the bathroom. <laughs> I am giving away um, a pen a, and a drawing halfway through the night, a, a gift bag this size, a uh, mystery bag full of goodies. And then to everyone that purchases tonight is getting a gift bag this size full of goodies. Um, 
through a drawing that we're going to have from the ones that purchased tonight. Oh, oh. I need my pen. Hurry, I have to be on at 6.30. Okay. Hurry, I have to be on at 6, <laughs> on at 6 30. You have to be on what? On somebody else's channel or? Well, we are going to probably get started. We'll be on for a couple of hours and we're just going to keep showing stuff. All right. You're up, girl. You can always catch us on the after um, when it posts because anything that doesn't sell, we will sell it to you. Be okay. sure to go over and subscribe to Melanie's channel. Oh. <laughs> and uh, Vexing will put her link in here for you. I'm gonna start. Hey, off, I'm gonna start off with dolls. We're gonna start this uh, off at. Well, let's start off at ten dollars. So the first one you're gonna get. Dun dun dun. You're getting Baby Meredith. This is a uh, from the Brave. It is an official Disney one. She's so cute. But this is from the baby version. So it's like my first little Meredith doll, along with this little baby doll. So you're getting two dolls, starting bid, $10. This one is a 2014 City Toy doll. It's number GS139T14. So it doesn't necessarily have a specific theme or name, but it is from the City Toy line, 2014. And official Disney Baby Meredith doll. If anybody's interested, hello, Love Hollis. Oh, Kelly, Hello. you made it in this Hello. time. Yay. I'll, I'll have a round of applause for Miss Kelly. And Kelly's in she the house. to the auction. Yay. Welcome, Kelly. We love you, Kelly. Any interest in the two dolls? Like I said, this is Baby Meredith from Brave, official Disney. And this one is City Toys 2014. You'll get both dolls $10, which is actually really good. Uh-oh. Kelly needs to be, I don't know, blue. <laughs> oh, she's saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> she needs to be what? Um, uh, here, I have to show. Her messages are going to be held for review if she says anything. So, Why? because she's not blue. She doesn't have a wrench. Oh, well, that's, I never heard of such a thing in my life. It, they, moderate they, that? They, they, they moderate depending on what you say. I did. And it's just. It's weird. Oh, are you gonna give her a, a a thing? Only you can. We can't. Oh, that's okay. I mean, you don't have to, but it just it, it started moderating everything she was saying. Oh, that's I didn't know they were doing that. Yeah, they they I don't know. They got that Google moderator going around, and it's whatever they do. It's, it's a, obviously it doesn't have anything better to do. <laughs> it's like a bot. Something oh, thank different. you for posting my channel. Any interest in the dolls? I think there's no interest in the dolls. We'll go to another thing. Yeah. She has said she hasn't said anything much. <laughs> <laughs> you said one thing and it's like already they attacked you. They're like, oh, moderation. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay. Next thing we'll do, and I'm going to start this off at, let's start this off at $7. This is really cool. It is a Star Wars R2-D2 cupcake pan now this is brand new it's sealed never been in use what it is is it's four silicone cupcake pans where you make your little cupcakes i think you can decorate them like r2d2 um it's uh oven microwave and dishwasher safe freezer safe it makes a mold of little r2d2 um what else do you need to know okay, it's, okay. A, it's official disney and we're going to start this off at $7. Hello, KJ. Welcome to the group. That's really cool. I've never yeah. seen one like that. I thought it was really neat. And it's official Disney. This one's completely sealed. It's never been in use. The seals are still on. And you get four silicone little cupcake pans. So you just oh. pour, pour the batter right in. that right up. Yeah, you just pour the batter right in, pop it in either the microwave or the oven. It'll make your cupcakes, pop them out, and you can decorate them with a little R2-D2 little theme, which is kind of cool. That's all right. We're just getting started. I've got a lot of cool items today. Kelly, can you remove it from your on and turn it off? Is it on? Oh, okay. You can remove it from your YouTube account. You can turn it off. It's on. It will say held for review. Yeah. I made her a moderator. Once she starts talking again, it'll be fine. 
But yes, this is from 2015 Think Geek Collection. So it's for all you geeky friends who like Star Wars stuff. Star Wars cake. Star Wars cake and cupcakes. No interest in the Star Wars? Wow, tough crowd tonight. Hi, okay. there's my NASCAR buddy. <laughs> Hello, NASCAR man. It's been forever. Really? How, How are, are you, you doing, tonight? Derek? Derek's in the house. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is, and this is kind of cool. I'm going to sell this for $4. It is an owl ceramic uh, tea light holder. So what happens is you screw the bottom out. Okay, it does screw out. <laughs> And you put the little candle right over here, screw it back in, and then the candle will glow. And if you want, you could get incense sticks, put the incense sticks, put cones in here, put um, any type of oils. But it's an owl ceramic candle, tea light, um, you incense. You wouldn't have to put tea lights. You could put string lights in there. Yeah. Getting good, ready to find a place. You're moving? Good luck in the move, NASCAR man. Hope everything goes well. And it doesn't say a company or anything like that, but it is in great condition. It is like um, you could get those string lights at Dollar Tree and just put those in yeah. there. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah. And the, the eyes will light up. It'll create like a glow effect. I instantly thought when I saw the holes to stick uh, incense sticks in it. So you can have the incense, you can have the um, the candle going and just makes a nice little uh, light. Set it on the light. front porch and have like mm -hmm. a little night light. But if there's no interest in my happy little blue owl, we're going to put the blue owl on the shelf. You got Kelly in at four on the owl, honey. We do? Why don't I see Kelly? Now I see Kelly. I'm sorry about that. Let me guess. She showed up on StreamYard first. Yes, she did. There she is. Yep. We have Kelly in at four. There is a slight delay between StreamYard and between um, the comments. Oh, hell. What else is new? There's always a delay. <laughs> Um, any other interest besides Kelly for the owl? And like I said, it, um, just screw the bottom off, put the tea light in, put some cones in, but, um, yes, Kelly, you have a wrench. Yay, Kelly. We gave you the wrench. Well, at least Angie gave you the wrench. You are coming up in the world, girl. I Moving love that Pennsylvania. color that owl. Congratulations, Derek. Good luck with the... The new job and good luck with the move. It's not easy to move everything. Yeah, congratulations. Cheers. You'll have to fill us in sometime and chat us up. It looks like Kelly is grabbing this. Owl. Woo hoo, Kelly! Congratulations, and that's owl for four dollars. Oh, vexing should have called it, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to Kelly. Okay, we are going to you, Angie. That's three already? Yeah, that was three. Oh. They, didn't, they didn't like my Star Wars stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All righty. Um, first off, I have these are Cricut Ultimate Fine Point Pin Set. And uh, I'm going to auction these off. I'm going to start these off at $2. They're brand new in the package, never been opened. And if you know anything about Cricut, you know about how much these cost new. So you'll know that $2 is freaking fantastic. $2 and you've got three rows. All, the, all together you have 30, three rows of 10. These are uh, to be used on the Cricut machines. They're pins, fine point pins. You use them on your Cricut machine. Any interest? We got 18 people here tonight. Woohoo! Definitely good for crafters. If you have that cricket machine 
and you use the pen to draw and make the little um, designs on it. Does yep. it do it on t-shirts too and stuff? Or is it only oh, on the... Oh, whatever it is that you are putting in the Cricut machine, this will draw on it. So like you can draw on it and then you could even bake it on your mugs and stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is a nice set. Oh, Kim's making dinner tonight. What's she making? I don't see any interest, so let's move. Let's just move. Let's move on. This is stretch bands. These are new in the box by Gold's Gym. You get three stretch bands, light, medium, and heavy resistance. And we're going to start this also at $2. And this is how you work out those muscles. Yeah. Be like a strong woman. <laughs> I have I have a set too. I love mine. Chicken enchiladas and chicken fajitas. Oh, oh that yeah. sounds so good right now. I was gonna say, T, you're making me hungry. That did it for me right there. Yeah, love, I'm with you. And if there's no interest, we're going to move on past that. We're going to go to number three. This is a two-piece set. We're starting it off at $2. You're going to get at the beach, um, ultra shea body cream with coconut oil by Bath and Body Works. And along with that, you're going to get Moonlight Path by ba Bath and Body Works. You need the break. You cooked last night. Yeah, I'm not cooking tonight. These are both brand new. We got Melanie at two. I made uh, homemade tenderloins last night and he's actually eating the leftovers tonight. I'm probably just going to, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to eat because you will shame me. Mine involves fast food crap. That's exactly what I'm doing. Oops. Yeah. I, I, I'm a connoisseur of McDonald's. I'm sorry. My husband won't, won't buy food there. He hasn't for years. And um, I go there every chance I get. I'm going to probably die of that last McDonald's hamburger. And these are sold to you, Mel, for $2. Thank you. Those are the creams by Bath and Body. And that's $2. Thank you. Thank you. We're going over to you. Already? Right. Oh, and you get an entry into the drawing. Yay. Okay. Next I'm going to do is I have another Star Wars theme. And we're going to do this at $8. It is used, but it's Angry Birds Star Wars Edition Jenga Death Star Game. So basically, you're going to be building the Death Star, and then you're going to take the little uh, slingshots, toss the Angry Birds at the Death Ray, and each piece is, comes off. So it's kind of cool. Now, this is open and used, but all the pieces are there. So you'll get, like I said, you'll get the little happy uh, slingshots, and you're going to throw the little characters. And this one's a rare one. That's Chewbacca right there. But you throw the little pieces and have them go flying into the Death Star and have a little fun with it. So if you like to like poke people's eyes out with little characters, this is a great... Oh, one. I do. I do. I love to do that. But it's actually kind of cool. So here's the... Uh, oops. Here's how it looks. So it's literally a slingshot right into the Death Star. And you just have to roll, launch, and win. Any interest in the Jenga Death Star? And like I said, it is opened, it is used. It's a cute collection of Angry Bird Jenga games. And it's based on the uh, Angry Birds uh, app, that little thing where you used to toss little birdies and. <laughs> 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 I 
And they get uh, a lot of angry, don't they? Everybody's talking about food. Oh my god. Oh my god. There has never been a sandwich created like the McDonald's Big Mac. <laughs> That's what it is. They're talking about food. You make me hungry. My husband just went to go get uh I think he's getting Taco Bell or something crazy like that. I don't know. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm starting this a little high, but it is a very valuable piece. I'm starting it off at twelve dollars. This is it's from the SSC hand painted in Japan. This is a jewelry box. It's a locking musical jewelry box. And just one thing, um, the music portion does not work. But when you open it up, it has oh this. Okay, so it has a mirror. Whoops. <laughs> it has the drawers, which that obviously came out. These open sideways like this, so it's great for your um, jewelry, rings. It has a mirror. The music box is on this side, which there's a cover right here for it. And then it comes with the keys. Now there's three keys on this. That's the little, little tiny keys with the lock here. But it is all hand painted from Japan. Let me show you how ornate that is because it's actually really pretty. It has the lock is right there. All designed on, like I said, the only thing I can't get to work is the music box portion right here. And the company, I don't know if you can see that hand painted SSC Japan. I do not know what year this is from, but I'm going to assume it's old. Simply because it's old. <laughs> Any interest in the music box? And if there's no interest in my music box. Okay, put that aside. I've got dun 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 naked Barbies. We like naked Barbies. I am doing three Barbies for ten dollars. Yes, I'm sorry, they're naked. Let's censor them. But you get this one is from 2002. Blonde hair has the underwear. This one is from 2015. <sighs> Nude underwear. And then this one is from oh, it's the original 1965. But that's simply the model, and she has the textured underwear. I'm doing three of them for ten dollars. You get all three of them. Go play with Barbies, dress them up, do fun stuff with them. Each one looks different, different skin tone, different uh, lipstick, different eyes. But they're all Barbies. Be like, oh, cover them up. They're naked. Any interest in the three naked Barbies? They're all made in, these two are made from Indonesia. This one is made in China. And they are Barbie dolls. Barbies. Yes, Team Naked Barbies. I know I it's not that kind of. lady make a lamp with a bunch of Barbie dolls. <gasps> that would be creepy. It hung I, from the ceiling and all the Barbie dolls went around the out, outer edge of it. That's an interesting art project, though. I think yeah. it's scary though. But yeah, naked Barbies, I find that funny. So I, my little naked. I guess there's no interest in my naked Barbies. If not, we will go to you, Angie. Oh, wow. Okay. I know that was fast, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have a cute, these are called, um, I, I'm assuming these are vintage. Um, they're called Me Too dolls. And they, they go for 15 on up. And this one's just like new. She's so cute. She's very soft. And um, I'm going to start her out at $5. She has like a little hairline here. And she has little ears. And then she's polka dotted pink and white. And she is marked with her little label, Me Too. Her little dress. Her, her little dress has the Me Too movement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me too, me too. But she is all plush, so uh, you know, you could give this even to a newborn. Or a, a newborn 
it wouldn't hurt to lay it beside a newborn, you know, there's nothing hard or plastic on it. It's all soft. So we go from naked Barbies to me too. <laughs> What? I said it almost seems wrong going from naked Barbies to me too. I know. She's so cute. She has her clothes on. She's decent. And I don't see any interest, so we'll move on to my next item. This is a spoon rest. It's red. There's no cracks, chips, or anything wrong with it. It's made to look like a canning jar. It says Authentic Mason. And there's the back. And we're going to start this at $3. Nice big spoon rest. Could almost use this for a plate. And T's in at three. Anybody want to come in at four? Any advances? Sharon's in at four. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, T. Looking for five. And if no interest, let's go ahead and call it. Okay, we got T back in at five. Sharon's in at six. And we're looking for seven now. We've got Sharon at six, looking for seven. Anybody wanna come in at seven? What you think, T? You're out. So does Sharon for $6. Thank you so much, Sharon. And then my third item is a, this is a brand new Caboodles. It is a clear one. And we're going to start this one at $5. It has the little clasp and then it also has a tray in it so it has a clear tray that sits down on the top of it it's got little um ladybugs on it and there's the little caboodles signature it's a pretty good size i can tell you how, what the size is amazingly enough this is going to be eight wide and six and a half tall and seven deep. And these are amazing. They are so cute. Yep, I got my ruler again. It has a little handle. You can use this for your makeup, your hair products, your paint, markers, whatever you want. It's a nice size little square box. And if there's no interest, we're going back to you, Mel. Okay. Caboodle, my poodle. <laughs> <laughs> the next lot I'm going to start at $5. This is a pendant cross lot. So the first cross you're going to get, and it's really pretty. It has a cowhide zebra type um, with a, and then when you look at the back, it's so you can do it either which way. So you're going to get this one along with... A stone, um, no, it's not stone. It's going to be uh, plastic resin, but it has that stone look. And then you're going to get a second one. Now, it looks like there may have been stones on here, but only the sticker is on. So recommendation is put like those stickers on, but it's three 
pendant crosses. Um, great for jewelry makers, great for any religious people, or if you're looking just for something unique and different. If you make like, um, I don't know, it could be like a decorative piece if you want to put it on like a photo album or something like that. We're doing $5 for all three pieces. If anybody's interested, all three. Any interest? I love how this is like, lady. <laughs> and if there's no interest in these pieces, I do have a jewelry making kit, and I'm doing this one for five dollars as well. I shouldn't call it a kit. It's um, it's beads, but they're very, very colorful beads. Um, this would be good if you like to make bracelets, if you like to do belts, um, if you want to make necklaces or decor. So this is an entire bag of really, really colorful beads. You get the little separator pieces. They all have the internal hole on the inside. You get tiny little pieces if you want to make them as spacers. Big bag of beads. And we'll do this for $5. Anybody's interested in just colorful beads. We'll get all kinds of things. Wow, Wonderful. that's a lot of good stuff there. Oh, yeah. These, these are, like I said, if you make a belts or jewelry or... That's good beads, too. That's not the little nasty-ass ones I hate. <laughs> These would make, like, good statement pieces. And each and every one of them have the little holes so you can put the jewelry right in. They're all ready to... Okay, if there's no interest in the beads, like I said, you get the whole bag, $5. Then the next thing I'm going to show is I have... This is actually really cool, and I'm going to start this at, uh, we'll start this off at $5 as well. It's called Legends of the Air. It's an easy-to-assemble mini woodcraft aircraft carrier. It's the 403 Bristol Bulldog. Now, this is from, it's brand new sealed. Um, there's no date on it. I thought there would be a date on it. Oh, well. Uh, it's recommended for ages 6 and up, and it makes a model airplane with it. Uh, made in Taiwan. It doesn't say the date, though. But if anybody's interested, it's a nice little wooden easy assembly kit. You can paint it. You can color it. You can um, use markers on it. But it's a wooden plane. And it's in... <laughs> it's probably in a different language because I can't read the back. It's in one of two languages. Any interest in the $5 Bristol Bulldog? If there's no interest in the Bristol Bulldog set, and it comes in different airplane models, and the one you're getting is number 403, the Bristol Bulldog. If not, Angie, we'll go to you. Hey. I got a stuffed cow. It's got brown body. It is called, uh, mm, just says toy or something and it has little pink chanel fuzzy ears and this is going to be a buy it now uh type in the word cow for three dollars You never know when you're going to hear Vexing. Has a little Chanel fuzzy tail, Chanel fuzzy ears, and it's brown and white and so sweet. And then I have these two lampshades, and these are going to be a buy it now for $2 for the first person that types in a uh, lamp. These are blue and white checked. They're matching. 
and I can even tell you the size. They are four tall, and <clears throat> at the bottom, they're four wide. Two dollars, buy it now. They are cute. This lint. I no, I did not make these. I bought them like this. We got tea in it too. Really cute. Anybody want to come in at three? All right, it looks like these are sold to UT. And then my third item is start, we're going to start the bid at $2 on this set of dishes. Now, the reason I say set is because I put this, this bowl is a very substantially nice bowl. I don't know who made it. I don't know if it's worth value or anything, but it, it's heavy for some reason. So I don't know what it's made of. And this bowl is vintage. You can tell by the look of the cut. And what I thought would be cute was some of those people that make flowers out of dishes to make like a sunflower, you know, paint it and make a sunflower for your garden or whatever, you know. But I just thought that it would look cute like that. And we're going to start the bidding on these at $2. You get both. There's no markings on them, but they appear to be uh, not cheap. Or you may be one of those that just needs dishes. And here you go. The bottom is square. And I can tell you the size. <laughs> the biggest one is eight and a half wide. So that's a nice size. And there's no interest. So we're moving back to you, Mel. Short and sweet. We're fast. Sorry about that. I was muted. Okay, so first item I have is this beautiful um festive vest i want to say it's um kanji style um and it has the cute little um little tiny uh, buttons they're adorable selling the starting bid five dollars on the vest it's bright it's colorful and size wise this is a handmade vest i'm gonna say it's a large anybody's interested in a large could be women's could be men i would say this is more women's just being on the ornate design with the buttons it is handmade so there is no tags or anything because this was done by a sewer and she did an amazing job on these vests but it's great for if you're out partying you want to be festive and colorful have a handmade vest i don't know if there's no interest in the handmade Women's vest, kanji inspired, little um, happy streamers, confetti, all that other stuff. We're going to pass this. We're going to go to, and this is also going to be $5. We have, oh, it's a mirror, but it's a Raggedy Ann and Andy mirror. And it says, take time to love one another. And it's painted with the cute little dolls. And it has the flowers on top. It's a mirror, no scratches, it's in good condition, no cracks. It's framed already, so it's all ready to be hanging up. Oh, Angie's in for $5. She likes a raggedy and stuff. <laughs> Any other bids besides Angie? If not, we will definitely start calling it to Angie. Angie's in for five. That is for the mirror. Can I see? Oh, the back has, I'm sorry. It has like a velvety line back as far as there is a sideways hook on that. 
but it's uh, nailed on the four corners as a weird sideways hook. It was supposed to have the, um, uh, what do you call it? The tab so it hangs back, but this does not. So with this, you can either add like a um, wire to it to hang it up that way, or you could add your own backing to it. That's your choice. But other than that, it's it's a wood backing with uh, lined with velvet. And it's just missing its uh, stand, I guess you could say. Any other bits? If not, we'll call it to Angie. I know there's a slight delay. Very cute. I have some dolls that are worth money. Cold Love Hollows. Are they the Raggedy Ann dolls? Because those really do go for good money, the Raggedy Ann's. I know I sold a couple of, <laughs> couple of them already. We use as a tray as well. You sold them to me, and I am a well, Raggedy Ann freak. <laughs> I never announce who I sell it. No, T, 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 T. No, we don't play that way. You get your bid in there, girl. <laughs> I, I don't announce who bought it. <laughs> get your bid in there, girl. Get it in there. There's no uh, maker's mark. There's no um, company name or anything like that. I love it, but Angie can have it. Yeah, I, well, I told her to get her bid in there. We don't play that way. She doesn't want to. She wants to give it to you. <laughs> See, she wants it too. She's coming in at six. Oh, she's coming in at six. There we go. Okay, now we have a bid. <gasps> Thank Angie, you, T. We play right here. Yeah. I know I bid it, then I run away unless I really, really want something. I'm like, oh, no, I want that. <laughs> <laughs> It's very rare when I like keep bidding if they want something. Don't be afraid to bid against the callers because mm -hmm. we are just like you when it comes to bidding. And we never hold a grudge ever. We love yeah. you. Now we appreciate this. Any other bids besides T? I'm not lady. Is bidding at six. And this Especially is Especially you, T. How could anybody not <laughs> like T? She has got the best laugh in the whole world. Yes, she does. Her smile's infectious. It's wonderful. And it was her birthday last week. And she's beautiful. Well, to last week, uh, we can have She got bumped off again. Did she? All right, then I'm going to say we're calling it the. I was waiting for vexing, but oh, wait, she's back. It's it's T's. It's so. It's yours. Congratulations. Congrats, T. You got a pretty cute little thing there. Was that and then my third item? Oh, I introduced this in the past, but this is my last and final one, which is kind of cool. What this is, is, and I'm selling this for $8. It is a record crate creature. So now if you could see the little creature, he looks like an orange little flying uh, dragon. And he's completely interactive. So what happens is if you pull his tongue, he starts vibrating. If you feed him, um, he'll munch on things. You put the batteries in. He's also voice activated. You could press his belly and you could leave little messages and stuff. I know this sounds funny. I actually gave a message to my mom where I gave her one of these. I put, I love you, mommy. So every time she squeezes it, it says, I love you, mommy. So I thought that was kind of cute. <laughs> but it does. It's... um. 45 creature sound, sound effects. Um, you can feed him, rub his belly. So it's like a modern day, I almost want to say it's modern day Furby, but it's in the shape of a, um, a dragon. Uh-oh. T says, bill me and send it to Angie. Oh, she does that a lot. She's Miss Santa Claus. She does that a lot. Okay, I will and write T, that down, T. There's no way somebody doesn't like you and, and give me their names and I'll take care of it for you. <laughs> Angie will bring them back and beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and thank you for the gift. I do appreciate it. I love you. Did anybody, any interest in this creature dragon for $8? Come on, let's help Mel out. This is the last yeah. one she has to sell. This is my last one. And what happens is it does come with a little, uh, what do you call these things? It opens up the uh, the thing. There's a locking key on it and it's a cute little crate. 
and it's a whole way for Christmas. It's time to put Christmas away now. <laughs> but if there's no interest, that is okay. My little creature crate will go back on the shelf. Not a problem. <laughs> And if you guys haven't subscribed to Hemlock Lady Mercantile, please take a minute and go subscribe to her channel. She does auctions also. And she says she's going to send the names too. Angie, you're up. That's on. You're welcome to put your links in anybody and everybody. Okay. Up first, I have a dog sign. This is dog sleeve name prints on your heart. Now, this is from Hobby Lobby. It's got metal, a metal frame. And we're gonna start the bid on this at $5. This is a good size, I can measure it for you. This is 10 by 10. Who needs an adjustment? Yeah, send me their names. I'll take care of it for you. We're going to do an auction with you and Kim soon, real soon. Any interest in the dog sign? This is... Uh, a metal frame, galvanized metal frame. So it's a little, it's made to look like a chalkboard. So it's a little, um, a little Hobby Lobby item was originally $14.99. Still has a tag on the back. I have no problem with it. And I don't see an interest there. Okay, my next item, um, CK, CK, CK. Calvin Klein, this is so cute. It is brand new, it is a 3X stretch, Calvin Klein. And we are starting this at $6. It is a very stretchy 3X, long sleeved, has a hoodie on the back, and so damn cute. Here is the colors. It's got like blues and a cream color, a dark gray mixed in with a black and a yellow. Just a beautiful summer Calvin. 3X and stretchy. And here is the tag. To look cute with your summer jeans or summer jean shorts. It's long enough that it covers up your belly. It's wide enough that it doesn't show any fat. Any interest? And if not, we'll go on to the next item. This is a, oh gosh, I forgot the uh, Pioneer Woman cookbook holder. And we're going to start this off at $10. So you'd put your cookbook in here, your recipes or whatever, put it up on the counter. It is just like new. It's solid wood. It has flowers on it. This is metal. This part, this part is metal. Uh, no, this is wood. Wood, wood, wood. Metal. It's 
And I can tell you the size. I'm really getting good at this, telling you the size, aren't I? It's 10 wide. It's nine tall. But if you add the stand to it, it's 12 tall. No, it's not real heavy. No. We got T at 10. Does anybody want to come in at 11? Thank you for your bid, T. This is beautiful wood. And, you know, you could use this for other things, too. You could put your laptop, not your laptop, your um, iPad on here. I can sew that 3X Calvin to fit. I will take it. Okay, Sharon. You got it. It is really cute. Got you down for it right now. Any other bids on this? I'm going to sell it to T for 10. Thank you, T. We're going over to you, Mel. You're muted. Oops. I'm muted and I was eating. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm going to start this off at um, $10. It's a Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys uh, collection. So the first thing you're going to get is a size 2X Dallas Cowboy t-shirt. This is celebrating the 50 years. If you notice, that's from 2010. So this shirt alone is 10 years old. Official Dallas Cowboys uh, team made in Honduras, 2XL. Along with this, you're going to be getting a Dallas Cowboys trivia quiz books, 500 questions on America's team, and... You're going to get 100 things Cowboys fans should know before they die. So this is a, if anybody happens to be a Dallas Cowboys fan or knows somebody that is, this is a great collection. You get two books and a shirt, $10. Hello, Kathy's Corner. Welcome to the show. We have lots of great stuff today. And right now it's Dallas Cowboys. If anybody likes the football. I usually say get I the football. I missed your start thing. of bid. Uh, $10. I'm sorry. I thought you heard me. <laughs> so $10 for all three. Any interest? I really thought I said it. I might not have said it, but I thought I said $10. Oh, we have T in for Ben. T knows she's getting a great deal for this. This is actually a really good deal. <laughs> Any other bid? You get the T-shirt. You get the two books, and the books are in crisp, clean condition. I mean, you can see they almost look like they're unread. They're obviously pre-owned. The shirt is pre-owned, but everything is clean, good condition. The shirt alone is 10 years old. Um, it is double stitch. It's not single stitch, but it's still a 10-year-old shirt. And it's in great condition, 2XL. Any other bids besides T? If not, we'll start calling this to T, and I thank you so much, T. You are getting the Dallas Cowboys lot. T. Dallas Cowboys. And that is for $10. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is I have a bakeware set. And this I'm going to do. Huh, you didn't think I'm crazy. I'm going to start this off at $5. Why not? It is made in the USA glass bake set. It has the beautiful Greek style, um, cameo style, whatever you want to call this, bakeware set. And it is from the Glass Bake Company. Oops, let's see if you can see that. Glass Bake has the lid in excellent condition. We're going to start this off at five dollars this is for your pirates lovers or your uh tupperware lovers or your corningware lovers but this one is glass bake it's uh what does that say it says one quart so this is a one quart round glass bake made in the usa 
with the blue cameo style Greek looking design with a light blue. Any interest in the bakeware set? If there's no interest in the bakeware set, another item. Okay, we'll put this down to make that nice and easy. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to go to, this is an old vintage item. It is, and I'm going to start this off at $5 as well. It is a Reed's Rocket Nutcracker. It sounds dirty, but this is actually America's finest nutcracker. But this is a old one. So what you're going to do is obviously use, but I'm going to show you what you do with it. Take the little piece, you screw it in, but then when you screw it in, it creates a lever. You put the, the nut right here and you close it and you crack the nut. I just finished another sewing project of mending rugs, brand new, that got ripped. Oh, well, I'm glad you finished it. Just take care of your hands because I know sewing, particularly rugs, it's so thick. This is, it has a wooden base and this is all uh, metal. I don't know what, if it's aluminum or whatnot, but it's metal. And it has your little uh, piece that you screw in. And once you screw it in, it becomes a lever and you go crack. You crack those nuts. So if anybody's interest, it's the Reed's Rocket Nutcracker. And that we're doing for $5. Vexing let Angie know that's for you, for me, if she didn't see it. Hey, Genji. <laughs> Anybody got their notes? They need to crack. Put your significant others in. Did I say that? <laughs> I have I have to be good. It says uniquely designed to crack soft shell nuts faster, better, and easier. Commercial speed for a formerly tedious job. Quickly pays for itself savings on bulk, bulk nut purchases. Prepares nut meats as you need them. Prepare those nut meats. <laughs> Any interest in the reeds? Oh, I, I, I make myself laugh. That's funny. I think there's no interest in the nutcracker. Oh, okay. I think we're going to you, Angie. Nut meats. Yes. See right there. It says, prepare your nut meats. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> you got Rich in at three. <sighs> Three for what? Three? Rich, are you starting from the beginning? Oh no. Rich, make sure you oh wait, type that in. Refresh. Rich, hey Aaron. Please refresh. What goes to vexing? My dad would love it. Somebody with the nut meat. Well, if you are interested, Hi, Sharon, $5, you want to put a bid in. I don't know what Rich is bidding for, though. He has one nut left. His wife took the other one. <laughs> <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> Most of us women have plenty of nuts. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Hello, Lisa, Rich. Oh, who else came in? Aaron came in. Welcome to the show. <laughs> We a cookbook nuts. stand is to <laughs> the cookbook stand is to vexing. Okay. Wow. All right. I got it. He is past. Okay. This is a Calvin Klein men's extra, extra large. It is a, oh, um, it is a jacket. It is new. It's like a sweatshirt jacket. It zips up the front. It's got pockets. It's really cool looking. And extra, extra large. Calvin Klein is the name. Here's the back. Very stretchy, like sweatshirt material. And we are starting this one off at $10. I'll hold it up for a little while. Of 
course, a girl, a lady could wear this too. It's got a little Calvin Klein on the front. Oh, he loved nutcrackers. Okay, so there's no interest. We're going to pass. And then I have, this is called, this is actually a baby rattle. And it's a unicorn. Got a little pink hair. All that good stuff. We're going to start. This is going to be a buy it now for five dollars. The first person that types in unicorn has a little silver horn. Um, his eyes are closed. He has she has pink hair, pink tail. And Bexing said her internet went out. And you can hear the rattle in it, the baby rattle. And it's in new condition, smoke free. So it's a buy it now. Just type in unicorn. Re invoice me, please. Uh, oh, for the shipping? Yeah. I'm using Square now. And if there's no interest, we're going on to the third thing. This is a starting bid of $10. It's new in the box. Comes with a play mat, ages three and up. And it is the Play-Doh Fun Factory Mega Set. It has 40 plus pieces, including five Play-Doh cans. So these go for over double that. So we'll start it at 10. There's the back. There's the front. Any interest? All right, we're going back to you now, Mel. Stop eating. I, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm good at, and I unmuted myself. Okay, so it's early Christmas, but when you see this, you're gonna love this. So for your die hard fans, look what I've got. Die hard Christmas. Funko Pop. It's a box set. You get the Funko Pop and the t-shirt. I'm starting this off at $15. If anybody's interested, it is the ultimate Christmas gift with Hans Gruber and Don McLean. You'll get the t-shirt in this. It's a size medium. It's one piece along with the Funko Pop doll. So it is a complete box set. It's sealed. But it is a fun, and this is going to be a hot item come Christmas time. So it's a rarity. It is from the 2018 Funko Collection. The box is in mint condition. It does have a reseller tag on it, but that could easily be taken off if you want to take it off. I was lazy. I didn't take it off. I'm sorry. <laughs> but if anybody's interested in Funko Pop Die Hard Christmas. I Heart is actually a Christmas movie, whether you think so or not. Any interest? If there's no interest in the Die Hard Christmas, that'll be a big seller during Christmas time. If not, it's a big gift. If not, and I'm going to start this one off at $8. This 
This is a brand new Disney version of Apples to Apples. It is sealed. The seal is still on. It's never been used. And it's your fun little Apples to Apples matching game. We're starting this off at $8. If anybody's interested in the Disney, the game of goofy combinations, you take a trip through the wonderful world of Disney with Disney Apple to Apples. You get 270 red cards, 90 green cards, a card holder. It's recommended for ages 7 and up, 4 to 8 players. And it's the Apples to Apples Disney version. No interest in Apples. We will put her on the side. And then the next thing is, oh, anybody like Vera Bradley? We have one of those beautiful quilted Vera Bradley bags. You can see the tag says Vera Bradley. There's another tag here that says Vera Bradley that I just don't see just yet. I'm going blind. Nice quilted design. I'm starting this off at $10. If anybody's interested in a blue quilted Vera Bradley, it has all of her things on the zippers. And I thought there was a it has a phone case on the outside. It's a zippered pouch on the inside. You also get another zippered pouch on the inside. You have that lovely Vera Bradley tag. And this is cute little purse, $10. Any interest in the Vera Bradley? If there is no interest in my beautiful Vera Bradley purse, then Angie, we are going to you. Okay, I have a pound purry. So the kitty cat with the little butt thing. And this is going to be buy it now for $3. Type in purr, P U R R. Oh, that's so cute. I know it's a it's a pound purry. It's a little pussy, pound pussy. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> you did say that. Anybody has been to Kohl's? My son gave me a coupon, and I went there. All racks are sale items. Hmm. Are they going out of business? <laughs> wow. I don't know if unless maybe it's just that particular store because. You know how easy it is for managers to let go of their stores and make it look like crap. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I wonder. And I have a, this is a little box and you put your tea light in it and it has the actual box of tea lights here for you. Oh, Vexing came back in. Well, Paula says they're closing the stores. Oh, okay. So you get the little fox tea light and four little tea lights to put in it. And this is going to be a starting bid of $2. Of course, it looks like she, it looks like a girl. I think it's a girl. I just want to start singing, what does the fox say? <laughs> <laughs> what does the fox say? <laughs> this is new. I just took it out of the package just so you could see it. Is there a storm in your area, Vexen? Just curious. We had a really bad storm last night. It was tornado warning and everything. Just oh, right wow. it. Didn't even know it was that bad. I didn't know it either. And then I have I have a pair of these are these are actually new shoes. They have never been worn. These are by Michael Coors. They're an eight. They have a strap on them that has like a little bow and a buckle. 
and they're just a short wedge and there's the bottom and these are going to be starting bid twenty dollars there's the back of them has the little michael kors um thing on it yeah these uh these are like um shimmer glitzy whatever you want to call it me i'm the type that would wear these some um, bitches with my shorts because <laughs> that's just the way i am <laughs> i like to be different i just love the little strap that that's shaped in a bowl oh no it was 70s here today any interest all right so i need everybody to put in a number between one and 25 and when vexing says start because i'm going to give away a a goodie bag it's a mystery goodie bag and so you will get a it's very light you will get a mystery bag of items if you want to play put your number in between 1 and 25 And then when vexing says stop, hi Lisa Jenkins. Didn't get a chance to say hi to you, I don't think. Hi, Marion. Put your number in if you want to play. I'm giving away a goodie bag. And just so you know, I do not pay for the shipping. You will pay for the shipping. So if you don't want to play, you don't have to play. It's just a bunch of stuff I'm giving away. Goodie bag. Marion, pick your number. Hey, Siri, pick a number between one and twenty five. A random number between one and 25 is five. Okay, number five is the lucky number. Ooh, I think it's gonna be Barbie and Ken, am I correct? Yep, I think you're right. All right, so that is going to you, Barbie. And I will 
put it with any other things you have going out. Thank you, thank you. And we're going on over to you now, Mel. Okay. Marion is starting to tease me. Don't tease me like that, Marion. I get all excited. All right, <laughs> I am doing a hat lot. I'm going to start this off at $20. If anybody's interested, you're going to get a bunch of hats. So this one happens to be, it's a simple FNB Toller Banking Center. This one is a really cool Hot Springs Village hat with the Conquistador. We have, if you're golf lovers, it's the PGA West Tour from La Quinta, California. This one is some crunchy granola symbol for good health and, I don't know, CH2M, my bad like that. <gasps> Jacob's hat. And these are all in excellent condition. Some have snapback, some have uh, Velcro, some have whatever, hook and loop. <laughs> this one is Turner Seed Company, and that's the whole mesh one. If you are into um, fraternities, Alpha Delta Pi. And then I have Bee Farms. If anybody's interested, you're going to get all these hats for $20. Any interest in the hat? Go ahead, you changed your name. <laughs> yes, congratulations, Barbie. She got herself a goodie bag. And if there's no interest in all these hats, I'm going to go to something else. I have this. I'm going to start off at $5. Essential Burt's Bee Kit. This comes with everything. You are going to get the Burt's Bee Kit. It comes with, what does it come with? It comes with a soap, bark, and chamomile deep cleansing cream. It comes with a hand salve. It comes with a milk and honey body lotion. It comes with the beeswax lip balm. And it comes with a coconut butt cream. These are all brand new, never been used, made in the USA, vegan, um, what is it? Not tested on animals. It has a 12 month, um, it's 35% recyclable. What else? All natural health and beauty, no parabens, no phthalates, no petroleum, and no SLS. If you know what SLS is, good for you. I don't know what that is. <laughs> But it's all the healthy, good stuff for Burt's Bees Oil. We have Gettysburg Rich in for $5. Any other bids for the Burt's Bee Collection? This is a nice gift. It is sealed. If not, we will start calling it to Gettysburg. If, unless there's anybody else coming in for the Burt's Bees. That's going to be going once. She's doing her last call. Uh, Burt's Bees. Sold to Rich for $5. Congratulations, Rich. You are getting Burt's Bees. Oh, and then my other item is, I'm going to start this off at $15. What we have, and this is old. I can't exactly date it, but check this out. It is a Remington Electric Shaver. The model number is... The Contour 5 Shaver, 6 volts, 110 volts, comes with the original stuff. Here's the thing. I do not know if it officially works, but for people who like to collect things, this is the original Remington. Now, it has, that's the motor piece that goes on the inside, and then that's the actual shaver. So, I didn't test it out. I didn't put it, but you get the Remington kit. I guess back then they, they kept the pieces separate. Comes in the original box. Comes with the original inserts. And it comes with the original outer box. It is missing the one side to the outer box. But, like I said, if you like to collect things, do not know if this is a working condition. But it's definitely good for the collector. And it's the original Remington electric shaver 5550. Don't know what year it's from, but I'm going to guess it's in the 
want to add Nutcracker. Gettysburg, just send me a message and we can talk about it. Any interest in the... Plug it in. You can't plug it in. There's no plug to plug it in. <laughs> Sneaky or skeeky? <laughs> ah, Sharon, I'm skeeky. Who knows what skeeky is? If there's no interest in the Remington shaver, like I said, there's no plug. So it's basically sold as is for parts or more of the lines of a collectible item. If not, was that my third item or was that my second item? I don't even know what I'm selling now. Uh, do, 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 do. I did the hats. I did the, I think that's my, yeah, nope, that's my second item. All right, let's go to the third item then. Oh, my third item I have is, I have a lion doorknob um, holder, I guess, or you could call this a nameplate. It's a metal nameplate, and I'm doing this for $4. I do not know what type of metal it is, but it is a metal. It's made in the USA. It has the knight's helmet, the, um, the little lion, whatever those symbols are. Somebody could tell me what those symbols are. But it's a nameplate where you could put your um, name on it. It's not used. You can um, etch it in, put a sticker on it, however you want to do it. I'm selling this for $4 comes in a nice little box, so it's already ready for a box. I'm assuming it, um, as far as how it, I'm assuming you just put that in internal piece in and it's like, I don't know, I'm confused how it powers up as well. <laughs> I don't know how the old Remington works. If they use batteries or was a special, but there's no plug or anything with it. Any interest in the lion plate? If there's no interest, then we are going to go to you, Angie. If Angie's around. Maybe Angie stepped out. There she is. I'm here. I'm here. That's okay. I have a oh, love yeah. bug. It's a pink love bug planter. And we are going to start this at five dollars that is it's, adorable it's an excellent <laughs> condition it has absolutely nothing wrong with it it even has little things on the bottom felt pieces so it doesn't you know mess with your furniture yeah it's cute we got tea in at five anybody want to come in at six could see a, a cactus in here would be cute. All right, we're going to sell this to T for $5. Thank you, T. And then I have a Minnie Mouse tie. It is a tie product, T-Y, and it's shaped in a ball. And she has a little um, bow, and it's like a towel. It feels like a towel, like terry cloth. And we're going to start this at $3. Thank you, T. We have KJ at three. Thank you, KJ. I 
And if there's no interest, we can sell this to KJ for $3. I don't know if I have your information or not. I'm going to send it to me just in case. Sold to KJ. Now I have a champion jacket. This is new. It is an extra large man's. And we're going to start this at $10. It's got stripes down the side of the arm. It has um, pockets on both sides. It zips all the way up. Um, it has a little champion logo. There is the tag. It is extra large. Um, there's the back. And we're going to start it at $10. It is a dark, I would say it's black with some blue, blue and white stripes. Extra large. Right, extra large. Very nice jacket. You get this as a gift, even. And if there's no interest, we're going back over to Mel. It's on mute again. I got to unmute myself. Okay. So, the first thing I have, and I'm going to start this off at $5, but it's adorable. It is a little kitty cat creamer, but what happens is the cream comes out of the, the paw. So it's a creamer set. Put the little head back in, and then when you pour it, it comes out of the paw. Now, the, it is made in China. That is the maker's mark. I don't know anything about that particular maker's mark, but it does have the classic blue and white design with the little flowers. Cute little kitty cat face. And it's just an adorable little set, particularly if you like to collect kitty cats. And I thought it was cute with the little, holds up the paw, pours the cream. Not even keep this for myself. It's cute. <laughs> Any interest in the kitty cat? Made in China. It has, it's in great condition. There's no cracks. There's no crazing on this. There's no chips. Um, and it's, good look. and it has the um, gold trim on the collar. It is cute, Sharon. I saw it and I'm like, I have to grab that. And it is hand painted, so, and you can see like the little detail of the face. Any interest? If there's no interest in the little, dare I said a little pussy creamer. <laughs> I'm gonna put her aside for now. And then what I'm gonna get is I have a dream catcher. And I'm going to do this, um, we'll do starting bid $3 for the Dreamcatcher. It is a sealed Dreamcatcher and talks about the legend of uh, the Dreamcatcher. Hello, Lisa's treasure. Oh, Lisa, you were in for the creamer? I think Lisa's treasure is in for the creamer. Any other bids? If not, it's definitely going to you, Lisa. It's cute. <laughs> I think we're gonna go to Lisa on the kitty creamer. Kitty creamer, meow. Five dollars to Lisa's treasure, sold to you. Congratulations, Lisa. You got the little creamer. Yay! Okay, um, Dreamcatcher. We're gonna do this three dollars. It is the legend of the Dreamcatcher. Native Americans of the Great. Planes believe the air is filled with both good and bad dreams. I know I have a lot of bad dreams. But according to legend, the good dreams pass through the center hole and to the sleeping person, while the bad dreams are trapped in the web. Historically, dream catchers were hung in a teepee or lodge and on a baby's cradle board. So this is a dream catcher. Any interest in the dream catcher for $3? It has... 
nice little brown feathers, brown design, and a hole in the middle. The cats, those bad dreams. I have bad dreams all the time. But then again, I always have bad dreams. I have so many bad dreams lately, it's so scary. Yeah. Definitely try, I mean, even if you don't get this, try a dream catcher, Lisa. It sometimes works. I mean, I think it works, but I have a couple of them hanging up. But um, I noticed on one of my dream catchers, the feathers started off like flat feathers, but then they puffed out like this. And I'm like, does that have a significance? I have no idea. But any interest in the dream catcher? If not, we will put the dream catcher aside. And then, what was my last? Was that my first item or my second item? That was... That was my second item. So my third item is I have cute a little, I don't, I guess that's a bluebird. Yeah, that's a bluebird. So it's a little bluebird trinket box. I'm going to start this off at $5. The company is called Crowning Touch Collection, made in Japan. It's a little light blue bird. Open it up. It is ceramic. And it's a cute little trinket box. Little ceramic trinket box. It's a bluebird on a log, and it's all um, it's not plastic, it's all uh, ceramic, or in this case, uh, probably yes, yeah, ceramic. So it has clean inside, crowning touch made in Japan. And we're starting this off at five dollars if anybody's interested in the trinket box. Nice little cute bluebird. And if there's no interest, you're going to go to Angie. All right. I have a pair of six and a half brand new Vans. I've never even wore them. And they're gray. And we are going to start these off at $10. There's the little signature. This is what they look like. They're gray. Six and a half. Ten dollars is a starting bid. T is in at 10. Anybody want to come in at 11? They cost a lot, lot more than that. These are good shoes. Can't go buy a new pair for 10. But we're going to sell them today to T for $10. Congratulations, T, and thank you so much. Boy, if there's guys in here, they are getting lucky today because I am bringing out the good stuff. This is a Cabela's <clears throat> Two Extra Large Tall. And it is the rust color jacket that zips from here up. It has uh, zippers on the sleeves, I guess, so you can unzip them and make them shorter. And it is like a, it has their name on the side, Windcrest is the name of it, but there's the Cabela's and the size. And we are going to start this at $10. It's a two extra large. It has side pockets with zippers. It's a rust color. Which is almost like a brown. And it's in new condition.
male had a VB. Uh, no, you have. Yeah, Mel did have a Vera Bradley. She had a Vera Bradley. No, it did not sell. She had 10 on it. I have a Vera Bradley. I could show it. I put it. I'll show I it in the next a, round, Lisa. I have a Dooney that I'm going to be putting on eBay because it's way too much for to sell here. I'm starting it at $100 because it's a leather Dooney and it's worth nice. over 300 so any interest in the Cabela's? No interest in the Cabela's. Let's go on to another man's jacket. Boy, some guy would really get some good jackets tonight. This is a Nike, Nike jacket. It's an extra, extra large. I mean, these are even girls can wear these. Because they are just, Nike is Nike, you know? Doesn't matter. We're going to start this one at 10 also. It's a um, extra, extra large, the dry fit. It looks like it has like a lining inside of it. Yeah, it does. And it's got side pockets with zippers. It's kind of a cream color, has a hoodie on it. It's got a blue stripe. Um, what else can I say about it? It's Nike. Oh, sure. I have it here. May I have the Cricut markers for two? Yes, you can. Cricut markers. For Barbie. Thank you, Barbie. All right. So if there's no interest in that... On my next round, I'll show you the Dooney. And right now, it's Mel's turn. It is my turn. There we go. I am going to start with a vintage Marin Chicano. Chicano. I can't even say it. Marin Chicano made in Spain dancing doll. And she has her tag. So the tag is right here. I'm going to start her off at $10. Marion Chicano, made in Spain, flamenco dancer. Beautiful lace. She's on her own little um, stand. And these are old. She has her Give cute little. Give you $15 for both. Okay. Go ahead, honey. Go ahead. What? I'm sorry. Oh. Rich, I'll talk to you on my next round, honey. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mel. I, no, I am going. I'm just saying, are you? Okay. Any interest in this? Uh, Ten dollars for the vintage doll. It's a Marin Chiclana. Uh, what is it? A uh, Sabada Chiclana Sabada made in Spain, and she's a beautiful pink with lace. She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I know. I remember as a kid, I had like a whole bunch of these, and now they're considered. Old. <laughs> if I would have saved them. No interest. So we're going to have her dance along the way. Side. The next item I have. Any Alice in Wonderland fans? I have a costume. This is the original Disney costume. It's a one size fits most. But it is the Mad Hatter official costume. Look at that. So first you're going to get the Mad Hatter hat. And then you're going to get, and I'm starting this off at $5. Anybody's interested in the costume, you get to be your own little Mad Hatter from Disney's Alice in Wonderland. And as you can see, it's a official Alice in Wonderland Disney. You'll get the hat, you'll get the jacket, and you're all ready for Halloween. Does she cook as well as she dances? <laughs> she probably does.
Eve. No, Kelly, people just rewind back and see if they didn't. Oh, wait, Kelly, did you start on the beginning? We're still not on the cricket. We're way past the cricket. Gettysburg Rich is in for $5. Any other interest in the Mad Hatter costume? From Disney. Oh, we will start calling it to Rich. Kelly Angie sold the markers to Barbie. You got Rich at five. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, that's what I said. It's the complete thing. And it's the hat with the jacket. That's awesome. You get the most awesome stuff that you never see anywhere else. <laughs> I know. And imagine if I actually bought everything out. I, st oh I still God. I still drive people crazy when I buy things that like no, that's my stuff. Table is mine. <laughs> was that my second <laughs> item? <laughs> oh no, I, I drove people crazy today because I filled up the entire table and said, This is mine. <laughs> 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 the final item I have is I'm doing a Hello Kitty mix lot. We're gonna do starting bid for ten dollars. And this is what you're gonna get. We're gonna start you off with a Hello Kitty thermos. Special thermos, good for soup, good for hot stuff, cold stuff, but it's a cute little thermos. In addition to the Hello Kitty thermos, you're going to get this big Hello Kitty mug. If you don't want to use it as a big coffee mug, you can use it as a planter. But this is from original Hello Kitty from Sanyo. And then if that's not enough Hello Kitty stuff, you're going to get a Hello Kitty mug mug. You're going to get all three of these. Any interest in Hello Kitty? Great deal. This is from the 2011 collection. This one is no date, but it's Hello Kitty. And then this one is from the 2012 collection. Any interest in Hello Kitty mug? Uh, coffee mug? And then super... Uh, Hot little food mug. And if there's no interest, I think we're going to you, MG. Okay. Shadow Woman's like, hello, welcome to the, the chat, Shadow. That was my three. You sent a text to Janine for Hello Kitty stuff. Okay. Good. Tell her to get her butt in here. <laughs> okay. I have a casket. Yes, a casket. This is a casket for a dog or a cat or whatever, your squirrel. Um, it's solid wood it's for their ashes. And this is going to be starting bid ten dollars. I don't even like to have to do this. This is morbid, but I didn't want to throw it away. There comes a time. Yeah, there comes a time. It um you pull it out right there. It's got a little tab on it. Pull it out. Yeah, creepy. But when it comes time and you need it, you need it, you know? No, I cannot show it open because it right now it has pumpkin in it. Pumpkin the cat is in here. The lady wanted me to throw it away. And I cannot bring myself to do that. So I will sell the, the casket and I will put pumpkin somewhere in the ground. That really pepped up the party, didn't it? Sad. I know. Oh, okay. So we're passing. I'll just put the whole thing in the ground, okay? I have three Hot Wheels. These are going to start at $3. 
I have this one is a Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Oh my God, I know. Uh, you've seen it all right here, guys. And this one is a Speed Blur Muscle uh, Bound. These are new in the package, never opened. This is King Kuda Muscle Mania. Three Hot Wheels, starting $3. This is not a Hot Wheels, this is a Marvel. Well, it is Hot Wheels, but it also has Marvel on it. So I don't know if that makes it any more interesting or not, but anyway, there you go. Anybody interested at $3? Okay, we got KJ at three. Anybody want to come in at four? KJ, send me that email, please, honey. Dear info. Anybody want to come in at four? All right, let's sell this to KJ for three dollars. I have had the hardest time trying to track people down lately. It's just driving me nuts. All right, on the jackets, the jackets are ten dollars bottom line, ten dollars each. If you want, I have I showed four tonight. They're all name brands. There was Calvin Klein, there was Nike, there was Cabela, um, and another one, another Calvin Klein. I think I'm not sure. They are ten dollars bottom line. Bottom, they're brand new jackets and they're in the larger sizes so they fit anybody if anybody's interested in any of those just shoot me an email or message me okay um let's see those shoes those are hers we sold that what else the casket and then i had one other thing what was it where'd i put it oh i know it's the purse for lisa Lisa, this is the Dooney. Yeah, Champion was the other. You're right. This is the Dooney, and this I would my bottom line on this would be a hundred dollars. So we'll start the bid at a hundred dollars. Um, getting ready to put this on um, eBay. It's purple. It's beautiful. I paid over three hundred dollars for this and gave it to my daughter for Christmas. She only carried it a couple of times. So and they don't smoke. So it is like new. In fact, you can't even tell that it's not new. It still has the paper on it. And it's the most beautiful lilac purple. So if anybody's interested, <laughs> yes, we had a, a we have a, um, a urn for a pet's ashes. A lady left her pet's ashes in a dresser that I bought. My husband got a hold of her. Um, and let her know, and she said, just dispose of them. So I, we couldn't do that. So I thought, well, somebody can use the little casket. So I'll bury the ashes, and then I will um, sell the casket because other people could use it. So um, now I'm just going to bury it just like it is. KJ, unhide Janine, please. What's that mean? Anybody interested in a starting bid of 100? This is a leather. It zips all the way around. It is beautiful. Lots of pockets. It is an original Dooney. It is an authentic Dooney, I mean. I know that because I bought it myself. One owner. Janine isn't a troll. Oh, I didn't. I didn't hide her. Who hid her? Let's unhide her. Yeah, K KJ hid it, but 
um, Shadow Woman um, put it back up. So Okay, good, 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 good. Thank you. All right, we're going back to you, Mel. Sounds good. I have, and we're going to start this off at $8. Any Marilyn Monroe fans? This is a metal sign. It is from 2010 Joshua Green Collection. So it's a metal sign. It's in great condition. It features Marilyn Monroe in the lovely red dress and all the different uh, pictures of her. Great for uh, a wall hanging decorative piece. Those who like Marilyn, it's the classic, beautiful woman. And we're selling this for $8 if anybody's interested. And it's a 2014 photograph by Milton H. Green from the Joshua Green collection, manufactured by Times, Signs of the Times. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. There we go. And it already has the holes that you could put it right up with um, nails. It's already built in with the holes. She would be called fat today. I know, isn't that sad? She was a beautiful plus, plus size woman, but that was beauty back then. In fact, if you ever watch the old uh, Miss America competitions, they were all like real women. <laughs> it's like, what happened that now everybody's like a size zero or something? Where did that come from? <laughs> Any interest? I think there's no interest in my lovely Marilyn Monroe, but that's okay. Next I have is I have a table, and I'm going to do this also at, actually, yeah, let's do this $8. It is the Black Series Retractable Table Tennis Set with a, oh, did, uh, no, I didn't show. I'll show it right after this. How about that? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I, I thought she wanted to see the Dooney. <laughs> But I will show right after this one, I'll show the uh, Vera Bradley again. Any interest in the Black Series table tennis? This is where you play ping pong across your own table. It has, it comes with the two paddles, the ping pongs, the net, the little bag. It's a seven piece set. It's adjustable. It could go right across your table. So this way, if you want to play tennis, play with your friends, you can even set it up for beer pong or whatever. That is what you can do. Sorry, I didn't even know. Aw. <laughs> it's okay, KJ. We figured it out. She's back. Any interest in the game? If not, I'll bring out Vera Bradley again. Okay, we'll put this aside. And what I was showing earlier, I'll show it one more time. This is a Vera Bradley band, $10. It has two zippers in the front, a zipper in the center. It's an authentic, uh, well, I think it's authentic. I don't know. It's, it says Vera Bradley. And then on the inside, it has the Vera Bradley lovely little tag right here that says Vera Bradley. It's in the nice little design. We're doing $10 for the bag. Nice blue color with the whole quilted pattern and the flower pattern. If you're interested, Lisa, this is the Vera Bradley. If not, then we will go to Angie. Oh, if she's here, she's probably interested. She'll let you know. Okay, That's fine. I have a bag of diapers never opened. These are um, Disney diapers. As far as what size they are, he was a about three when he wore these and these are going to be um, starting bid two dollars is the Disney Toy Stories on them these are like not really diapers but panties they can sleep in them you know like panties they just like pull-ups Toy Story, yeah. Okay, we got Barbie at two dollars. Does anybody want to come in at three? Let 
looks like they're sold to you barbie two dollars thank you next i have a lot of cars so we're going to start this off at five dollars they all together there's ooh, four five six seven eight nine there's ten so i'll go through it real quick you've got a viper you got a one of these from the movie cars a kellogg car i don't know the value of any of these i haven't looked them up i don't even care you got this one race car this purple thing with horns whatever that is uh, it says mattel steer clear hot wheels and then you've got this I'm thinking this is a Batmobile, but I could be wrong. It says Hot Wheels. And then you've got this Spider-Man car, Hot Wheels. Um, this is just a, looks like a, oh, forget that one. It's missing some wheels on the back, but I'll throw it in there in case you just need it have to have it oh gosh this one is so cute this is a ninja turtle and this is another one of the cars so you get all those for five dollars starting bit any interest I like this one and if no interest I'll go on to my next item this is a floppy hat this is acrylic and polyester this was mine I was the only owner bought it new it's a nice black floppy hat and we're going to start it off at three dollars three dollars just a starting bid of three dollars i'll model it for you yeah baby any interest these hats are not cheap Great for the beach this summer. Go try to buy one for $3. I dare you. Okay, we're going back to you, Mel. Okay, so this item I'm going, oh, wait, you have KJ in for $5 for the cars. All right, sold to you, KJ. Need a country, and you'll be set for spy duty. <laughs> All right, so this is an item, it's a very interesting item. It looks like a little like a buggy or day bed, but it's a metal holder. This would be a great item for either a display piece or to put things in, or if you set it up as a bed, it would be like a nice little um, baby shower gift. I have multiple of these and I'm selling them at $4 each. If anybody's interested, I could do a maximum of 10 of these. So it's a nice little metal, I guess you could say it's a buggy, it's a cart, it's a baby bed. It's a little cute, but it's a display holder. You put and your flowers in there. Yeah, you can you can do flowers. You can do like a display rack. You can do make it um put paper in it and make it a gift, wrap it up for like a baby shower or something. I mean, there's so many things that you could do with this, but it's a nice little display holder. I have 10 of them if anybody is interested. If not, you can contact me. But I just thought it was a really nice. Um, Vexing says she wants one. So we will give one to Vexing. Is there anybody else? Because this is not a, um, a bid. This is just a metal. It's just a uh, one shot item. And I think I was going to show. No, I showed the Vera Bradley again. Okay. If there's any other interest, just you can put it in the chat. I'll have nine more. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to do is, and I'm selling this for $10. I have this really cute 
justice bag. This is an overnight bag. It has the cute little peace signs. It is a rolling overnight bag. And it's from the company Justice. Right there. Nice little big bag with wheels. Makes it nice little easy. Has a little side pocket. Uh, no, that's the zipper pocket. But we're doing $10 for the peace sign black justice bag. Any interest in the justice bag? It's like peace, dude. Nice little baggy bag. And if there's no interest in the justice bag, problem I have. I have a brand new La La Rue shirt. It's a cute little heart shaped shirt, the size, and it's brand new with tags. Extra large. Check that out. It's an extra large La La Rue with the tags. Heart shaped design. And I'm selling this for $3. Has the handle on the other end. Yeah, there's two hands. What was the bid? Uh, $3 for the shirt. And yes, it has a handle. It's it's a rolling um, little baggy bag. But if anybody's interested in either the Justice bag or the La La Rue t-shirt for $3. And like I said, this is new with tags, extra large. Nice little heart shape. Good for the love in your life. Any interest? I guess that's a no. So then we are going to you, Angie. All right. And this is going to be a choice of four dollars as a start. Whoever gets the highest bid gets their choice first. I have a Nike hat. This is what the back looks like. This is new. It is a classic dry fit. There is the tag. And a cradle wicker basket to be cute to put plants in or baby dolls and i have a bw potty train those little ones how to potty so it's going to be starting bid four dollars choice of the hat the cradle or the potty Bring out the casket. <laughs> I feel bad about that. <laughs> I just thought maybe somebody could, you know, use it. And what's funny is pumpkin is inside of it. I know. <laughs> we didn't know pumpkin was inside. I don't even know pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for pumpkin that she's, and she was like a um, instructor at the college here and i'm like why would you do that you're better off like burying it or doing something like that i don't think you want that's that's weird you're well doing. i have a cemetery in my backyard corner back there where uh -huh. i've buried my pets and i'm just gonna have my husband take it back there and bury it i know that some of those things can get very costly any interest and the choice of, of a Nike hat, a BW potty, or a wicker cradle. Any interest? Wake up. I'm not going to bring out any more caskets, but you never know what it could be. <laughs> Wake up and smell the coffee, guys. It's only 8 o'clock at night. You can't go to sleep yet. All right. We're going back to you, Mel. Going back to me. I'm almost ready for bed. Is that bad? 
I have a really cute item. I'm going to start this off at four dollars. It is called um, Ashware from Mount St. Helens. So just to show you, it's St. Helens Ashware. And it's like a little tiny trinket dish, but it's made from the volcanic ash of Mount St. Helens. So it's a really cool little item. And it's a little trinket dish. So you can put, and it's in the shape of, it looks like a flowery shape. Well, that's a cute little um, Mount St. Helen has a nice little swirl pattern with it. And if you look carefully, it's like all a little ash. <laughs> you, you bring out the casket, I bring out the ashes. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. It makes a nice little St. Helen's ashware ashes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we should have like a whole ash theme. I bring out like <laughs> any interest in the Mount St. Helen dish? If not, then I have. <sighs> Guess what I have? I have a build a bear. Anybody love build a bears? It is my little pony build a bear. I'm starting this baby off at $10. It is an official Babsy. Where's her tag? There it is. The taggies, <laughs> her taggies on her ass. Look at that. It is, there it is. It's right there. It's My Little Pony Build-A-Bear Workshop. She has little balloons and the pink fluffy hair. And she is a happy little Build-A-Bear pony. I didn't know that 427 was at the distribution night. It has her little heart with the Build-A-Bear right there. We're trying not to be so morbid. I'm almost wondering, should I grab all the morbid stuff? <laughs> like, wake up, everyone. We need a pony. Any interest in the Babs Build a Bear? Um, that was my first. That was my second. I don't even know what I'm showing tonight. I have, oh, I have a musical phone. I got a new phone and it's driving me crazy. I have another little unicorn thing. This is adorable. It is a Tangled Pet Unicorn Brushy Brush. And I'm going to start this off at $5. Any, <laughs> definitely not the 420 <laughs> Oh, we need to do something like that again. This is Tangled Pets. It detangles any type of hair. It's a fun brush with a little unicorn. We're doing him at $5. It is from the 2020 All-Star Innovations. It is a creation from the Shark Tank. And basically, it's a cute little soft uh, brush that detangles any hair with an easy grip. And it's an easy washable uh, plushie. You just throw it in the machine and it washes and it prevents your kids from crying when you brush their hair. And who wouldn't want like a cute little unicorn? $5 in interest in the unicorn plushie. Easy grip. Kids will love it. Made of high quality. Plushy and brushy. It's a white little unicorn. It's, it's bristles. And if there's no interest, then Angie, we are going to you. All right. I have a lot of dog items. You'll get every one of these things in your lot. And it's going to be starting bid $2. So you're going to get this. Uh, Lazy Bones Leash. It is 72 by 1 and it has a price tag of $10 on it. It's a silver color. You're going to get that. You're going to get this skull. Has a little skull on it. Collar. Has a $9.99 tag on it. You're going to get a little uh, angel wings. Leash, collar, whatever you want to call it. This is another $9.99 uh, skull collar. This is a small. So you're going to get that one. And then you're going to get another small skull collar. It's going to be silver. So you're going to get a red, a silver, um, and a black. And they're all in small 10 to 14 inch. And then you're going to get the little pink angel one and you're going to get the 
silver uh, lazy bone leash. So we're going to start this at two dollars. Meat on the bone for resellers here. Where did the skull come from? <laughs> ah, right over a cow. <laughs> it's roadkill. <laughs> no, uh, no. <laughs> Stop that, Barbie. You're never going to let me live that down. <laughs> it's not a cat or a squirrel. Any interest? I know we have dog lovers here. I know we have pet lovers here. Two dollars, guys. All right. Next, I have a ladies. Uh, this is new. It is a snakeskin belt, and we're going to start it off at one dollar. It's brand new. It is adjustable. One dollar. And then I have a, let me see where did it go, here it is. This is a license plate, it's still wrapped up, I never even unwrapped it. It says 49% sweetheart, do the math, 51% bitch. So we are gonna, <laughs> we're gonna start this at $3. It's a real license plate. Is there another auction going on? Are you all watching more than one? Or are there's, we just not bringing some stuff that you like? Or what? what is? There's always what, another auction going on. <laughs> I know. I know. Probably three or four. Okay. So if there's no interest, we're going back to you, Mel. Okay. So the first thing I have is I have a trinket box. And I'm going to be selling this for four dollars it is from azumel mexico it is a beautiful colorful clay design with the colorful uh, paint on it like the terracotta um pot but it's a trinket box it can be used for storing jewelry for storing cute little things and it's beautifully hand painted I'm selling this baby for four dollars and like I said, there's no maker's mark or anything because it's probably handmade and hand painted. But it is Cozumel Mexico. Put your little stash in here. <laughs> Cat <-ish. laughs> This is going to make me so sad because tomorrow I'm bringing my kitty in to get fixed. And I'm like, we're talking about cat ashes. <laughs> Oh, yes. Good point, Vexing. If there's anything you would like to see, we could dig it out and see if you guys want are interested. If not, we'll just keep bringing stuff out and see if you like this stuffy stuff. Yeah. Barbie, I'm going to spank your butt. <laughs> Ooh. That could be fun. Oh, <laughs> God. I should have known. <laughs> did I say that? I didn't say that. No, yes, I mean, you did. I did say that. I'm bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God, this girl! I tell you, I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. Crazy. This you're gonna is, get it too. Yeah, I, I probably could use a good one. You'd like it. I could bring out the naughty stuff. Oh. <laughs> I will bring something naughty out, but I'm gonna start with this. I have an absolute mule from the Absolute Vodka set. This is a brand new, it's um, one of those uh, <laughs> steel mugs, has a blue handle, selling this for $4. If anybody's interested, it is brand new, never used, has a little box, but it's from the Absolute Mule Vodka Set. And these are the type of uh, mugs that keeps everything super cold. 
whatever you pour in here, it'll stay cold, which is really good. So I actually like these. I bought myself a tall glass of one of these and much better to use for drinks than plastic or glass. And I'm not selling the dead cat. <laughs> I'm only selling the box. God, I wish I could take that back. <laughs> Well, I vexing says I bid. Any other bids besides vexing? If not, we will give it off to vexing. She's going to get the absolute. Ooh. Well, at least somebody's interested in our crap. <laughs> and that equals Ken and I really have to step it up. We were falling behind on the auction explain toenail clippings and earth. I have to bring in something interesting. All right, I have something. Give me a second. I got something. And this goes in line with what you were saying. So it, I'm, I'm sorry if anybody gets offended, but this is an actual item and I will explain it in a minute. I showed it on 420. So this is a handmade flogger. <laughs> Did I dare say that? So it is made with um, monkey fists. Those are little monkey fists uh, knots. It has, it's made from paracord. And basically this is what you use to flog, beat, hit, whip, that kind of thing. <sighs> Did I dare say that? I didn't, this was handmade from a friend. Um, whatever you decide to do this, that is up to you. I don't condone. If you want to do like self um, flagellation, that is totally up to you. And Ken wants to go back to the dead cat. I'm sorry, no. Ken. I'm no, sorry. we're going, we're going to spankings now. Okay. <laughs> we got a better, we got a better uh, one here. But that, that's exactly what this is. And if, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, and if, you know, starting bid on it. Oh, this particular one's twenty dollars, and that's actually, believe it or not, a really good deal for this. I know it sounds expensive, but this, like I said, it's a 25. handmade twenty twenty two zero twenty dollars handmade flogger. It has the beautiful uh, sneak pattern on here. You can hang it up. Has the design, and then the monkey fist. You can swing from it. Yes. For swinging. And it hasn't been used. I mean, this is actually a new uh, <laughs> piece. <laughs> I mean, unless you unless you count me holding it. But this has not been used. It's a new piece. And it was handmade specifically from a friend who said, hey, if you're doing that type of show, sell this for me. <laughs> <laughs> Do I dare say this? So... But yes, she oh. does. She does uh, custom made pieces with custom made colors and custom made whatnots. I think that was my third item, right? <laughs> Never mind. Like, scroll off. All right. So we're going to go. We're going to go till about a quarter till nine, and then I'm going to do the drawing. That that works. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is a stained glass piece. My neighbor makes these. He's been making these for years. And the only problem with this one is right here where it attaches, it just needs a little piece of solder right there. But I think it still hangs in the window perfectly, even if you didn't want to do that. And this is absolutely beautiful. He, he makes these and sells them for a pretty good price. And he's really good at it. And he's just an old fella and just loves doing these so we're going to start this one off at five dollars get her to make a black leather cat of nine tails mail <laughs> <laughs> just... yeah this is the real stained glass this is the real thing here this is not a fake handmade and then I have um, I have a lot of craft items this is includes five items yeah it would look cute in a little girl's window yeah you could give it some glue not pumpkin's tail <laughs> okay so we got five items in this lot we're starting this lot at three dollars 
you're going to get this unopened handmade embroidery kit that makes this picture and it has everything with it and then you're going to get these they're called reusable stencils with adhesive and another pack of them and then these are iron-on pockets you can iron them on like a tote or anything a pillow or something and there's this one too so you get all five of those items and we're going to start the bid at three dollars Craft lot, craft lot. Sharon's in at three. Thank you, thank you, Sharon. And if there's no other interest, we'll sell those to you, Sharon. Thank you. And then my third item, I was going to put this on the vintage auction, but I went ahead and put it in tonight's auction it is a um what do you call it embroidery yeah embroidery tablecloth and so this is what it looks like you can see up close the embroidery it's so beautiful and so someone finished this out years ago and kept it in a plastic bag very nice and we're going to start this at six dollars and i'm going to give you the dimensions because i can thirty four by thirty tablecloth starting bid six dollars there it is up close. There's little flowers. There's no stains or anything on it. She kept it in a Ziploc baggie. Oh, Sharon's got to go measure something. Okay, Sharon, you go measure and we'll go over to Mel. Okay, so this I'm starting off at, I'm um, going to do this for $3. And I have multiple uh, colors. They are germ free key holders, they're retractable. So basically, what it is, is you can use this as either a self defense device or you can use this as a stylus or a pointer so you don't have to touch like dirty things, handles, buttons, keypads, that sort of thing. And it just hooks onto your belt. Nice little uh, belt loop. I'm selling them um, $3 each. I have either blue or black color. And basically it's the germ-free key that can not cure COVID, but can help you avoid public contact with surfaces. It's heavy duty, electroplated aluminum, and this is just a fixed price if anybody is interested in having one of these. Or like I said, it can be used as a self-defense technique where you just pretty much poke somebody in the eye with it if they're following you or if anything like that. It's a, a novelty item. They're from um, 2020. They just came out, obviously, because it talks about COVID. So <laughs> any interest in the key ring? Used for opening doors too. Yeah, yeah. If it has like the um the hook door, it shows you right over here. Um, either the door, the shopping bag. This way, you don't have to touch nasty things that other people touch. 
I sometimes feel with all the avoidance of everything, we're going to make each other sicker because of it. It's very, it's a cool item. And like I said, if you want to poke somebody's eye out, it's great with that. I have multiple of these, so if anybody's interested, they're pretty cool. Next thing I have, and this we're going to start off at $5. This is a miniature Namco. Um, you're going to plug it into your TV. $3 for the cloth I will use for pillow coat. Um, the cloth. Oh, tablecloth. Okay. Um, Angie, the tablecloth Sharon is interested for $3. And I will say this. If anybody's interested in any item, please contact us privately. The tablecloth was 6 Yeah. This way it doesn't get confusing when people start bidding. So if you contact us privately after the show or even during the show, we can sell it to you if the price is agreeable. We can't guarantee that we'll accept all bids, but I mean, if that's something you want to do, always contact the seller privately. Um, Pac-Man, $5. If anybody is interested, you just simply plug it into the TV. And this one has Pac-Man. It has a racing game. It has Gallagher. It has Xavius, and it has Mappy. Whichever, I will take it. <laughs> All right, Angie. Sharon wants the um, the tablecloth, and this is all set. You turn it on. You can see it does work. The power button's on. It already comes with buttons. Aaron's in the house, and he loves these games for me. Old school game. He's been playing all the ones that I got. It does work, Rich. Just turned it on. You just plug it right into the TV. It powers up and it goes straight into. So we got Aaron in for five. Any other interest besides Aaron? If not, we will start calling it to Aaron. I think Aaron's been having fun with these. <laughs> Mel sent you an email. And Gettysburg Rich is in for six. Erin, do you want to come back in? Well, we got an auction. God. Oh, Erin, <laughs> you whipped out. Erin's like, no deal. <laughs> you know what it is? Erin's been buying all of these because I had a whole collection of them. <laughs> but I had, I had different ones, so. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I think okay. he's been enjoying all of them. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. We're going to Rich. Any other villains wise? I guess we're going to say soul to Gettysburg, Rich. Go, $6. Rich. Go. Rich, could you make me rich? <laughs> and that was, was that my third item? I think that was. Or was that only my, I don't even know what I did. Was that my first, second, third? How many I did I do? I have no idea. Okay, wait, wait. The game. Oh, that was only my first. Wow, I am totally out of it. You okay, are out was, of it, girl. I'm out of it. Okay, how about kitty cats? Kitty cats. We've got, check this out. It is a big kitty cat rock. For those who like to paint rocks, it is a calico painted rock. This is from. Ooh, Wendy, ah, it is signed by Wendy Ecott. I have no idea. I can't tell the year, but I guess those are like the famous people who like to paint rocks and just leave them in random places. I am selling this pet rock, which literally is a pet and it's rock, I'm selling this baby for $5. If anybody's interested, it is kind of heavy. But oh my I do the God, she said pumpkin's headstone. <laughs> Ah, maybe uh, this is a poor little pumpkin. This is what she looked like. Oh, Mel, why didn't you just shove that underneath the desk for right now? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
Another and dead still, cat. And you have to understand, I had three little fur babies, and one of my fur babies I'm finally bringing to the vet to get fixed, and that was a replacement kitty for my cat of 21 years who passed away. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. We're talking about dead cats, and I'm laughing. Why am I laughing? But any interest? My dog would, my dogs would just take, they'd hike their leg on that sucker. Well, somebody got a cha-ching. Cha I just, I just sold one of Marion's uh, uh, patterns for $46. <gasps> you, Marion, you, you got any more patterns? <laughs> you made a great deal out of that. It's like, oh, no. congratulations. <laughs> I mean, and that is a pass. No more dead cats. All right. Oh, if not, I have another game. I How have... much was that? I could use that as a headstone. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have another game. I have Sling Ball Classics. And I'm going to do this for $5. It comes with the two Sling Balls, which is similar to a, um, oh, what's that game? Lacrosse? But it's a, um, it's like a lacrosse that. A net along with a slingshot and you take the little slingshot ball and you hook it launch it catch it it's by the doobie games it includes the two rackets and the paddle it can be waterproof outdoors oh my it's, word and it's all a sling ball and it's a two-player game and it's a my, fun my, my grandkids would love that yeah and it's a soft ball it's like um it's like a nerf type ball but it's a slingshot ball. Wow, so, that's a good way to get your anxiety out too. Just, I think catch oh. it. So that's why I said it. Like it mixes almost like a lacrosse with a slingshot. And I guess, and like I said, waterproof. It'd be fun any, to play with at the beach. Any interest in the slingshot game? Play at the beach. Play at the park. Play at I don't know, wherever. Outdoors in the backyard, have them running around hitting themselves in the head. Yeah, they'll put a cannonball in there and shoot it at the house. Put around have big holes in the side of your house. <laughs> they'll get hit in the head like bonk. <laughs> I can see it now. Angie is going to be painting and selling. <laughs> I'm going to be painting some rocks. Actually, there is a market for that. As sad as that might seem. You get rocks like that and, and paint like cute little things, people will buy it as headstones. Hey, I've been cutting um, branches off this week, cutting them up with my saw and painting them to make planters out of. Wow. Is You'll get to see the video. That's like time consuming. <laughs> Very time consuming. Everything I do is time consuming, but I'm crazy, so I do it anyway. But you love okay, them. is it my turn? It's your turn. All right, let's get this three out of here. Let's see. I've got another pack of these Disney diapers. This is the last pack I have. I bought a box that had like four of these packs in it. He only used two before he was out of them. And so these are going to start at $2. These are the little Toy Story pull-ups. They need to go to a good home. They were my grandsons. Barbie! Barbara! My granddaughters call their Barbie dolls Barbara. That's the funniest freaking thing I've ever heard in my life. Barbara and Kenny. Okay, so I have that, and then I have um, I have Tiana the princess, the Disney princess, and she's going to start at five dollars. Isn't she cute? She has her pretty little hair and her little thingamajiggy up here. Okay, Barbie, I got you down for some more diapers. And this is Tiana, the Disney princess. And she's going for, right now on eBay, you can buy one of her if you'd like to go on eBay and buy her. 
You can pay about 25 for her. 15 to 25, 17, 18. And we're offering her here today for five. Smoke free. She's a Disney princess. I hope she's marked anywhere. Yep, she's got the Disney logo on her back. Huh. Made by Hasbro, I think. All right, and then we have... Where does it go? I have a wood bowl here and I'm starting it at $6. It's a nice solid wood bowl. It's shaped kind of like Noah's Ark. Really nice to put your fruit or vegetables or nuts or something in and I'll give you a size. This is 14 by eight and then tall wise it's four. Starting bid is six dollars. I just sold another, another pattern. Cha ching! Cha ching! That's lovely. See, I took the hour it took to take pictures and list those online, and got my money back times five. It's worth it. It really is worth it. If you've got like that Dooney purse, those do I've seen them on eBay. They're two. They're getting two over two hundred dollars for that purse. Thank you, Vexing. There's no interest. We're going over to you. Okay, I have, and I think this sums out how crazy we are. I've got nuts. We're nuts. It's actually a glass nut jar. Selling it for three dollars. It's all glass. You could put your nuts. You could put your candy. You can put whatever you want to put in it. It is all glass. Starting mid, three dollars for a bunch of nuts. <laughs> and I think that's how I sum up my life. I'm nuts. Ah. There's no uh, maker's mark or anything like that. It's simply a glass nutty bowl, nut jar bowl, whatever you want to call it. It's like we are all nuts tonight. Crazy, crazy. Any interest in the jar full of nuts? Well, there's no nuts in it. It's just a nutty jar. If not, then what I have is, how about I have french fries? Anybody want french fries? This oh, is- I'm so you're, hungry. You're hungry? Easy to not french fries. It is a how-to kit on making little french fries. And it's like, I have fries only for you. I'm selling this for $2. It's a can, um, you knot it up and you make a little french fry, little happy pillowy thing. It's one set. It's from the Horizon Group. It's easy to use. It's recommended for, I'm trying to see age-wise. It doesn't say the ages. But you get one fiber fill, felt stickers, die cut felt, fleece, and easy to follow instructions. And it is recommended for who knows how old. I don't know. It doesn't say how old. But we have $2 to Angie for french fries. Anybody else interested in french fries? Got Angie in for our french fries. I've got a granddaughter that's at that age that loves crafts. Oh, so this is perfect. She yep. makes her own little french fry kit for two dollars. Every yeah. time I send stuff that you that I buy from you, my my son says, "Oh, thank you, mom. Thank you." She <laughs> loves it. She loves it. I Keeps love her it. Busy. That's what I'm here for. You make people happy. I love making people, and, it, and particularly when the kids love the little stuff, that's the best. Oh, okay. Yeah. Next thing I have is I have a precious moment heart shaped bell. And on it says, every day is very special when we kindly share it with a friend. This is, and I'm going to start this off at $3. It's from the Precious Moments 1985 Samuel J. Butcher Collection. 
Made in Japan, UNESCO. And it has a little poem on the back. It has a cute little heart shape. And it has a little precious moments. Ducky with the little girl. Any interest. And it makes a cute little ding ding sound. I'm trying not to ding it too much. Or you could like sit on the couch and go ding, 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 and have your significant other come over and wait on your hand and foot, right? Oh no, did I say that? No. <laughs> or maybe it's the other way around. Hmm. I don't know. Precious moments, cute little ding, ding sound. <laughs> See, it's a ding, ding sound. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. She okay. loves her dingleberries. <laughs> I'm trying not to, so it doesn't. Any interest? I think there is no interest in. Um, nut bowl, French fries. This was my third one. So, Angie, it is your turn. And I think is All this right. the last round, or? Um. Or yeah. Have yeah. You have, you have one, one more round. You have one more round. I got one more round. Okay, I gotta get more. Yeah, because I'll get ready for the drawing while you're going. This is a medium pink and black polka dot top. It's just a little summer snap front top, and then on the back it has a, a little tie, and it's a medium, and it does not stretch. It's non-stretchable, and we're going to start this at one dollar. Smoke free, clean as a whistle. Has little slits on the sides. A very sweet little top. Hey, Penny. Yeah, we're getting ready to wrap it up, Penny. But Penny, you can always look back at any item that hasn't been sold and you can contact us privately. Yeah, because there's a lot of stuff that did not get sold. Okay, so that's my first one. And then my second one is a maternity top. So if you know anybody that is needing this, this is a great deal. This is made by Motherhood Maternity. It is a large and it is starting bid $1. It's a pink flowered sort of tie-dye type with some little cute sparkles on it and it's a motherhood maternity is the name brand a large Okay, and then my third item, this is gorgeous. This is a 2X. It is by Andre by Unit. It's a high-end brand name. It's a teddy bear brown color um, with lace around the very top of the collar. And then it comes down to like a little, like, I don't know what you call that, but it's got a little ruffle there and it's just very subdued. It's not outlandish and it is uh, Andre by unit. And here is the tags on it. And we're gonna start this off at $6. It is a 2X. It's beautiful. So sweet. This is very uh, a very forgiving top because it's very, you know, out there, beautiful, yeah. stretchy, and doesn't cling to you. Has this is what the arm looks like. This is the back. And this is the front. And it still has the tags.
did what cell? Oh, I think they were talking about the um, little strollers. I'll, I'll show it, Penny, in a minute, okay? Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to get ready for the drawing, and we're going to um, go to, to mail. Okay. I'll just show this real quick. Um, they are cute little display, and it's either a buggy or it could be like a cradle or a bed. And you can use it for a display case. You can use it as a gift bag. It's metal. I'm selling these $4 each. I have a total of nine of them. So if anybody, if you're interested in this, Angie was saying how this can be a possible plant stand to put the little flower pots in or something like that. But I just thought it was a cute little design. I mean, I was thinking of maybe making a display for like makeup pieces or it could even be um, if you're doing a gift bag for a, uh, like a baby shower, you can wrap it up and put the little stuff in. So it's a nice little display piece. If you're interested, Penny, unless you already went back and is not seeing it live. But I'm selling these uh, $4 each. And I have nine left. And then the next thing I have, how about this? I've got red, hot, sexy wrapping paper. This is great for a gag, for a gift. I'm selling uh, two of these. We're going to do it at $5. It is from the Little Genie Production Gift Wrap. It says, this fireman doesn't put out fires. He gets them started. So if you have like a bachelorette gift, if you have a gag gift or something you just want to, it's fireman paper with a hot little, and it's, it's all the same. You're going to get two packages. Each package is 20 inches by 30 inches, and each pack has two sheets. So you're actually going to get four sheets total between the two packages. And it's just, like I said, a sexy, hot fireman. If anybody's interested in funny wrapping paper for a gag, this would be a great gift to wrap it up and give somebody. Nice for a bachelorette party. That's what I look at it as. The sexy fireman is hot. I guess there's no interest in wrapping paper, but that is okay. Because my last and final item, I showed, um, I have different designs, but I want to show you, first of all, this beautiful, ornate box. So you're going to get the ornate box. Inside is a dual set of dragon eggs. Um, the company is from Treasures of China Yi Lim Arts. I'm selling these at $15 each, but you're getting like $15 for the box. You're getting not one, but you're getting two beautiful eggs. These have the geisha motif on it. Beautiful hand painted. They have the gold leaf uh, type um, paint. You're going to get two of these. There's dragon eggs inside. You're also going to get the stand that the dragon egg goes on, and you get the box. So I just want to show what it looks like all together. You get the little certificate of authenticity. So it's two dragon eggs, two stands, the certificate, and the beautiful ornate box for $15. Makes a nice gift, makes a nice collectible. I also have this in where the box is a black one or a red one. So if anybody's interested in the dragon egg, it's 15, think um, Game of Thrones, think Asian artwork, think any type of Japanese motif. But these are um, beautiful ceramic and they have the hole on the bottom. Hey, Carolyn loves Asian things. <laughs> Yeah, these are cute, very cute collectibles. And what I do is I do individually wrap up the eggs before I put them in. So this they, way they won't shift around. Because these are also super delicate. But if there's any interest, you get the whole box, the stand. It would help if I actually close it correctly. Okay, if there's no interest... Is Angie ready for that contest or is she still finding stuff? Doot, doot, that's my phone. Ah, 
think there's no interest. Angie's getting together an amazing contest. And there she is. Okay. So we're going to do a drawing. I have a mystery bag. It's pretty good size. It's not heavy, so it won't cost you an arm and a leg. But it just has a few things that I've gathered and put in here as a nice little gift bag. And I put a entry in here for everybody every time they made a purchase and now i'm gonna draw barely see it but t he is the winner hemlock lady is she here she needs to be present uh oh, she might not be here because I think she does her show. And she might not tea. Headlock Lady, are you here? Ten. Nine. Uh oh. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, no. Hello, lady. We'll draw again. She's mixing it up. She's mixing it up. You have to be present to win that huge bag of goodies. And we have Barbie. <sighs> Barbie. Barbie, you won one earlier tonight, didn't you? Okay, that's fine. You can win again. Barbie is the Let's go. There Barbie. you go, Barbie. You're the winner. Winner, is winner, she dinner. She's in the house. I think she is because she just commented. Barbie, are you still there? Are you still here, Barbie? There she is. She said, yay. All right. Congratulations, Barbie. You get not one, but two presents. And you will see mail tomorrow night. Let me get us all up here. You will see. Wait a minute. You're gonna, be, you're gonna see mail tomorrow night on her. Your is it on your channel? On my channel. Yes. Okay. So okay, make sure you're night. subscribed to her, and she's gonna have a great auction tomorrow night with some great people. And I will be there for sure. And then Saturday awesome. night, me and Mel are gonna do uh, another awesome. auction where we're gonna sell some vintage stuff. And I got old some stuff. good vintage stuff I pulled up. Let me tell you. I got to get more old stuff. We're going to sell old stuff. Yes. Old stuff. Old stuff. Yeah, old stuff. <laughs> and then Monday night, I do jewelry. So I, I have some beautiful, beautiful jewelry. So um, be sure to tune in to my channel on Monday night, my channel on Saturday night, Mel's channel on Friday night. Again, every Thursday night, we do this channel. Okay. And Mel also sells on Tuesday night on her channel or one of the other ladies on her channel with her. Uh, let's see. Anything else you got coming up? Um, no, that's it. And just as a reminder, if there's ever anything that you see that has already been shown, contact us privately. We'll be more than happy to sell it to you. Yes. And if I don't have your info, make sure you send it to me. I am sending invoices out using Square. Uh, Cash App or Venmo, uh, any of the others, anything besides PayPal, I, they are officially fired by me. They are no longer uh, going to get my money. So um, there you go. That's it. Uh, thank everybody for coming. Thank, thank you for bidding. Thank you for just being our friend. Thank, thank you, you for being a friend. Kill the girls. <laughs> Yeah. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see you all really amazingly soon. <laughs> Take care. Have a good one. Bye. -bye.